Hey guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com, and it's time for another episode of PB at Night. This is episode 37. Tonight we finish up our Bracketology episode. This is, I guess, part two. Uh, we're going to be doing the Southeast and the Southwest regions of the NCAA tournament, giving you my picks, and also Smoothie helps us with a little bit of his picks as well. So make sure to stay tuned for that, and uh, PBCast TV and PB at Night is next. See you guys. Hey guys, Nick Jones here for PBCastTV.com, and this is episode 36, my bad, 37, last night was episode 36 of PB at Night. It is Tuesday, uh, March 15th, 2011, and tonight we're going to be finishing up our bracketology. Um, I've got my bracket here in front of me, like last night. Last night we did the East and West brackets, um, just to recap, uh, our final four for the East and West side is, I've got OSU coming out of the East, Ohio State, and... Um, UConn coming out of the West, but tonight, actually some of the games are going on now, so if you guys are watching this live and you like sports, hey, consider going over to ESPN, I think uh, CBS might have a couple games on, but the, the play-in games are tonight and tomorrow night, um, Tuesday and Wednesday, but anyway guys, uh, let's go ahead and get on into this, because I know this isn't the most exciting things to do, um, but let's go ahead. I think it's yeah, I think it's kind of fun, and I think it's fun for me to uh, give you guys my picks. I know it's not fun just sitting here listening to me ramble on about stuff. But anyway, um, so let me zoom in here. Get some of this here. All right. So there we go. So the one seed, uh, you got the one sixteen. We're starting with the southwest version, uh, top of the bracket. You've got Kansas and, uh, is that Boston University? Yeah, Boston University, of course. I've got Kansas coming out of that. And by the way, guys, I know this bracket that I'm showing you guys is not filled out. Um, I'll have an included filled out version of the bracket um, on the website with the corresponding post. So if you're watching this on our website, you should be able to look above and there will be a picture of um, my picks. So, yeah. And then you got the 8-9 up here. Uh, which is uh, UNLV and Illinois. I've got uh, UNLV coming out of that one. I think that could be an interesting game. Um, Illinois hadn't had the season that most people would think they would have, but they're 19 and 13, which um, is actually one of the worst. Um, yeah, I'm looking at it here. They're one of the worst, besides Tennessee and I think a couple other teams, they've got one of the worst records uh, in Penn State to get through. But anyway, I'm going with UNLV in this situation. Next, you got Vanderbilt and Richmond. I watched the Richmond Dayton game. Uh, Richmond surprised a bunch of people beating Dayton. Um, I think that could be an interesting game. But I've seen Vanderbilt play. I think Vanderbilt's got the guard, the guards, and the uh, the front court that they should be able to beat Richmond. Uh, then you got uh, Louisville and Moorhead State. Uh, definitely Moorhead State, somebody to watch. They've been a a sleeper a couple years, and they've beaten a couple teams they really shouldn't have. But I've got Louisville coming out of that one with the win. Uh, next in the southwest region, uh, you got su the Chicago. You've got the uh, USC uh, Virginia Commonwealth winner. I've got, I, I would consider this kind of an upset, even though they're both 11, 11 seeds. I've got VCU over uh, USC. I know you, that really doesn't count with your bracket. Uh, but I've got Georgetown coming out of that game. Uh, next game down, you've got Purdue at the three seed and St. Peter's, a 14 seed. Uh, St. Peter's won their conference, and they actually had a couple good wins, one being against Alabama. That's one of the uh, losses that kept Alabama out of the um, tournament. But I've got uh, Purdue coming out of that one. I think Purdue's just too good to lose to St. Peter's. Um, you've got Texas A&M. Uh, this is still in the southwest bracket. This is uh, still in Chicago as well. You've got uh, Texas A&M and Florida State. I went with the upset here, Florida State. They played Duke pretty close a couple times. Also, they I think they beat North Carolina earlier in the season. So I guess technically that's a um, upset. You got a ten seed over a seven. Honestly, I don't think that's too far fledged from you know happening. Um, next, you got the two seed Notre Dame. I've got Notre Dame going pretty far, uh, which you guys will probably figure it out. But I've got them um, heading over Akron. I don't think Akron really has a shot in that game. Um, Next game, you've got your one seed down here. You've got Pittsburgh against um, UNC Asheville and Arkansas. What is that? Little Rock, Arkansas, Little Rock. I've got uh, UNC Asheville winning uh, the play-in game, and then Pittsburgh coming out of that with a win. 
Butler a surprise at 8 seed. They actually went to the national championship last year. Uh, I got Butler coming over Old Dominion. I think that could be an interesting game. I haven't seen too many Old Dominion games, but they're coming out of a pretty a pretty tough conference. I think they're in the Continental or somewhere around there. Um, so 27-6, and six, that record's looking pretty good for Old Dominion, but I think Butler gets the nod in that one. Uh, Kansas State, an up-and-start program. They were kind of uh, down earlier. Actually, they, they were uh, up and down during the season, uh, pretty high starting off the year. They're at a five seed. They're playing uh, Utah State. A lot of people got Utah, Utah State over Kansas State. Um, I've seen a couple of guys on ESPN have that. I've got Kansas State um, just going with the, you know, I haven't seen. I mean, Utah State looking at this, they're a pretty a pretty tough 12 seed. It's looking like 30 and 3. All right, see, Smoothie's got the Utah State upset there. Um, I've heard a lot of people, I just played it safe, went with Kansas State, but hey, um, I, I'm I'm all for upsets. You know, if it if it makes my bracket wrong, I really don't care. I want to see an upset. Um, so, yeah, I went with Kansas State in that situation. But like Smoothie said, a lot of people going with uh, Utah State. Might want to check that out. Got Wisconsin and Belmont. I kind of glanced over this one. I've seen Belmont play a couple games. Belmont's played um, Vanderbilt and Tennessee, two tournament teams, very close this year. Almost pulled out a win against uh, Tennessee. I've got Belmont over them in this game, but I actually made a second bracket. And um, I've got Belmont winning that game. So that's a 13 over a 4. I would watch out. I'm not too high, I'm not too high on Wisconsin. I know a lot of people are. Uh, Wisconsin was pretty highly ranked at the beginning of the season, kind of like a Kansas State. So I can see, um, I think we could be looking at a 12-13 matchup in the third round there. Um, just saying. Could be an interesting matchup. Um, next you got BYU and Wofford. Is that Wofford? Yeah, BYU and Wofford. I'm going with BYU in this situation. Um, you know, BYU 30 and 4. Jim Fredette, I'm sure he'll light it up in that game. Um, oh, I, I skipped the St. John's Gonzaga game. I've got St. John's coming out of that one. St. John's, I've always been pretty. Um, they've had a good season. They've had pulled a couple. They played a lot of a couple teams in the Big East pretty close that maybe they shouldn't have. Um, so I'm going with um, St. John's and St. John's is a team I'm pretty high on. So you might want to watch out for them. Uh, UCLA, uh, Michigan State, that could be an interesting game because I think Michigan State has the personnel to pull off and maybe, a, I guess you could call it an upset. You know, right here when you get to the 10 and 7 seeds, not really an upset. I've got U, uh, UCLA. I haven't heard much about them, but I've got them uh, over um, Michigan State, but I could definitely see a Michigan State uh, coming out of that one. And then, of course, Florida. Yeah. I think I think Smoothie's on that. I think Smoothie's saying that uh, Michigan State wins this one, uh, gets through to Florida. But I'm pretty high on Florida because you know I, I watch a lot of SEC basketball, so I don't. I definitely don't think they'll make it through Florida. But uh, that's another game I would watch. There's a there's a good many games in the Southeast region that I that I could definitely see um, lower seeds going or higher. I guess higher seeds going uh, coming out with a win. So next, I think I'm gonna. Sh- I think I'm going to break down the Southwest and then the Southeast uh, to go down through here. So, next matchup, I've got Kansas. Wait, can we pick these? No, we can't. That's going to mess up something here. All right, let me go back. Um, Next matchup, I've got Kansas and UNLV. I've got uh, Kansas winning that one. Um, I'm not too high on Kansas as most people are, and you'll see. I have actually don't have Kansas going to the Final Four. Um... So, Kansas, the winner, they'll be facing, I've got Vandy and Louisville, uh, Vandy a 5 seed, Louisville a 4 seed. I've got Vandy coming out with a victory in that one. Um, like I said, that's kind of one of those games where I would not be surprised if Louisville comes out with it. I'm just a little bit higher on Vanderbilt because I've seen them play a couple times, and they've played Alabama pretty well, and uh, I've just been pretty impressed with them. But definitely, I can see them um, losing that game because it's a 4-5. or five. There's not much difference in between those two teams. Uh, working our way down. You've got uh, Georgetown and Purdue. Another interesting game. I think Georgetown probably, uh, or at least Purdue wears them out in the end. I think Purdue comes out with a victory there. And then you've got FSU because I've picked uh, FSU over um, Texas A&M. So I've got FSU and Notre Dame. Notre Dame coming away with a victory. I'm pretty high on Notre Dame. I don't know if they're going to be able to make the run, but I'm hoping they will because that will just screw up my bracket. So next you got Kansas and Vandy. Another pretty close game. That'll, that's right here where um, I guess this will be an Elite Eight matchup. So they've got Kansas and Vandy. 
I've got Kansas coming out with a victory, making it to... No, 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 this is Sweet 16, my bad. So this will be Sweet Sweet 16 right here, Elite 8 right here. So I've got uh, Kansas... Wait, I'm looking at the wrong thing here. This is this is Elite 8, this is Sweet 16. Uh, <laughs> Elite 8, Final 4 right here. So yeah. I've got Kansas coming out with a victory against Vandy, and they'll be facing um, the Purdue-Notre Dame winner, which is, wait, this is all screwed up. And Yeah, this is all screwed up, never mind. Uh, anyway, disregard what I'm saying. So in the Elite Eight, I've got Kansas and Notre Dame coming out of the Southwest. Uh, one and two, I know exactly, focus, focus, I can't really uh, figure out what I'm doing here. I'm just going to read mine, and hopefully you guys can see it. So, in the Elite Eight in the Southwest Division, I've got Kansas and Notre Dame coming out of the Elite Eight. I've got Kansas uh, losing to Notre Dame. That's a 1-2 seed. I think I can definitely see it. I wouldn't be surprised. That's another one of those games. Would not be surprised at all if Kansas comes out with a victory. But I've got Notre Dame going to the Final Four. So, yeah. Now let's move on to the bottom of the bracket, the Southeast region. And uh, here we go. So, you got... Um, I've got Pitt and Butler matching it up here. I've got uh, Pitt coming out with a victory. Maybe Butler plays them close. They're not near as stacked as they were last year. Uh, moving on down, you've got Kansas State and Wisconsin. Like I said, Belmont. Look for Belmont. You could see a Kansas State or a Utah State-Belmont uh, matchup. That would be pretty cool, I would have to admit. But I've got uh, Kansas State and Wisconsin both coming out with those wins. I've got Kansas State uh, moving on to face Pitt in the... Sweet 16. And then you come on down here. I've got uh, St. John's playing BYU. I've got BYU coming out with that game. In my other bracket over here, I've got St. John's. So that's one of those games I'm kind of iffy about. Um, I'm kind of hoping St. John's wins that game because... Actually, I don't know why I'm hoping that. But that would make, I think that's going to make for a good game. Uh, so that brings you down to BYU and Florida. I've got Florida winning that game. Florida um, has got... They've got a pretty decent inside game, but a great outside game. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Florida gets away with the victory against Jimmer for Dead. I don't think they're... Once you get past Jimmer for Dead, I don't think they're too... I um, think they're a little too shallow there. Um, so, anyway. So I've got... Uh, you'll have Pitt and Florida coming out with the Elite Eight there. Um, and I've got... Uh, Pitt and Florida have got Pitt coming out with the victory there. They were the number one seed. So, And then at the top of the bracket, Southwest, I think I already said this, but I've got uh, Notre Dame coming in into the Final Four. So here's my Final Four. Uh, you've got on the east side, you've got um, Ohio State. West, you've got UConn. I know UConn is a three seed there. I came out with UConn. So you've got one in the east, three in the west. Uh... Two in the southwest and a one in the southeast. So I've got, um, and this this is a little bit different in my other bracket, but this is the bracket I'm going to show you guys because um, there's not really much difference in that one. But anyway, um, so in the final four, we've got OSU um, in the east. I've got OSU coming out with a victory there, Ohio State going to the national championship game. I know that could be. I can. This is another one of those teams that I can. I can see them going all the way. And then I can also see them getting knocked out because um, if they're if that freshman of theirs, you know, he's a freshman. He doesn't have much uh, much experience at all. I can definitely see him not coming out, not having good performances, uh, kind of getting you know shying away from a couple shots he may take and um, make it on the home floor of uh, Ohio State. Anyway, that's going to be. And interesting, but I've got Ohio State going to the national championship. And then on the other side, I think a very intriguing matchup, uh, Big East matchup, wouldn't it be? Yeah, we've got Big East. So I've got three Big East teams in the championship, or not in the championship, in the final four here. So three out of the four, uh, final four are from the same conference. I don't really know how that would happen, but um, just looking at that, that's what that's what I've got on my bracket here. So I've got Notre Dame and Pitt. I've got Pitt moving on to the national championship, one seed. So you still come out with one seed versus one seed in the national championship. Um, and then I've got um, Pitt actually winning it all. I don't know about that um, because, like I said, this is one of those things where, honestly, I could see Duke coming away with a win, but I've got Duke getting out uh, not making it through UConn. So 
I mean, definitely, I'm open to, you know, I mean, you can have whatever, you can think whatever you want. But this is my bracket. Once again, it will be on pbcasttv.com. Uh, if you look at last night's episode, episode 36, should be right above. No, actually, yeah, anyway, it'll be like the second or third post on the website. Mm, excuse me. On the website, um, you can see my east and west bracket. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Call those thinking of KFC. I had KFC last night. Pretty good. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching this episode of PB at Night. Make sure to follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash pbcasttv. Um, twitter.com slash that Nick Jones is mine. Uh, Twitter account. You can also follow Jacob, twitter.com slash freaking huge, F R E A K I N H U G E. Finally, guys, youtube.com slash pbcasttv is where all of our videos are posted. If you, if you like YouTube, I know I love YouTube, so, um, I'm big on subscriptions and things, so I'll, I'm always happy when I see, uh, broadcast networks and things, um, coming on YouTube because I'm not a big RSS guy, just saying. But also, you can subscribe to all of our shows via RSS. I gotta get that up. There should be a widget pretty soon on the right hand, yeah, right hand side of our website. Um, and also, if you look at the post below, you can um, subscribe to the RSS feeds as well. So, guys, thanks for joining us. And until Thursday, because we won't be doing a show tomorrow. I'm Nick Jones. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye and peace. See you guys.